Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you here with us and pray you will be blessed. Sit back for the next two hours and enjoy while we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing, pray, and read the Bible in support of one another on our journey of faith. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer request and praise reports. You may call us at 606-464-4250 anytime during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Sister Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our studios for another get together with you and uh, we have some singers that will be uh, singing for you in a little bit. Dottie has a few phone operators up there and uh, all of our workers are on their, uh, their jobs so we're all in position to try to have church and bring it your way and so we I hope that you can stay with us because uh, this is a good time of the day to kind of wind down after a busy day. Some days are really busy. Some days you, uh, some days it's just you don't know what, that you're going to have so much fun in it. But then by the end of the day, sometimes you need to settle down and say, hey, where do I really stand and how much peace have I got left after this day? because it has a way of kind of wearing you down. But that's why we know that as we come into the homes of, of so many of you and in the, the uh, nursing homes and the hospitals and the jails and prisons and so forth, it's a good time for you to say, well, right now for, for this next hour, I'm going to talk, think about the Lord and I'm going to work through what all I've been through today. and. Uh, and make sure that I've got peace because when I go to sleep, I want to be able to rest. So tonight we want to talk about a subject that we all should be very familiar with and uh, we should uh, remember this. This is our model prayer that Jesus gave us. Now prayer is something that we absolutely have to, I mean, we need it uh, so bad. Matthew, the sixth chapter, starting with the fifth verse. Uh, these are the words of Jesus. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not uh, be as the hypocrites for are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Well, they can just go on home then, if they've already, if that's all good it's going to do them. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou, shut it, when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye not therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you need before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray you, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And two more verses that goes right along with this. It says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Um, that is... Uh, these are plain words that we have. These are the words of Jesus. And, and you know, uh, I was reading about where that uh, Jesus went and he prayed all night. He, he would go and pray all night. And um, so sometimes we think that we can just say one little prayer and, and it all uh, that takes care of everything. 
we need to pray according to this prayer because many times we pray selfishly. We want God to do something for us. We want it done right now and the way we want it. We are uh, just kind of dumb sometimes because we tell him, we ask him for help, and then we uh, have the nerve to tell him how to answer. I bet he shakes his head at us sometimes because because that is that's just not very smart. If we could solve it ourselves, then we wouldn't even have to ask him. But we ask amiss sometimes because see we get wrapped up in our in our troubles, and then so we want we want the Lord to be our hit man. We want him to punish this one and make sure this one don't escape and. And, you know, we pray so selfishly. No wonder he can't answer our prayers. But if we follow this, uh, that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, then we know that it's going to be pleasing to him, and then he can answer our prayers. So we have to ask, make sure that it's his will uh, and that it's uh, according to other scriptures that we're asking. And then this big unforgiveness thing, rules so much of our of our thinking of our actions and everything and people have gotten so used to it that you know uh, it's just really uh, they've kind of just taken it as part of the church bylaws you know you don't you don't have to forgive you don't have to uh, this or that but Jesus made it pretty plain if we want our sins forgiven then we've got to forgive and if Jesus prayed all night, then I'm, I'm sure that we need to, we need to pray longer and more than what we have. And so uh, how many times have you asked for something and God answered, but not in the way that you wanted? Uh, now we've seen prayers answered today, but not in the way that we ask. And uh, I remember when my brother was dying with cancer we asked for his healing. And, and the Lord just spoke to me and he said, I'll heal him on the other side. He got his healing, but it wasn't at the time and the way I wanted it. But it, it, he did it according to his will. And so what we saw today was not what we had asked for, but it was his will. And he, uh, he answered prayer. So let's take our petitions to him and and make sure that we can leave them with him and then let him answer according because he's got all the facts he knows what what we uh, need and and what will work and and uh, he just we see so little we just see right before our nose and so we need to leave leave the timing and the, and the house to the Lord on when he answers. So, but I know a lot of you get discouraged. You're, you're kind of peeved at the Lord. Well, I've been praying for this so long and he's not answered my prayers. How do you know he's not answered your prayers? You didn't get what you were asking for, but your prayers might be uh, really still being answered. So let's stop being judgmental and saying that he didn't hear us, that he didn't answer because he answers in a way that he knows is for our benefit and the benefit of the situation that we're in. It, uh, it gets a little, a little deep, but you have to submit. That, you know, if this country would uh, submit to uh, each other and to the, the laws and everything of the land, then all of this fighting and scratching and name calling and all this stuff would be gone. But no one wants to submit. They don't want to have somebody else in charge, not even to God. They don't want him in charge many times. We want his benefits. We want him to heal us and deliver us and, and make us uh, uh, able to, physically able to go about our work. But sometimes we don't want to submit for his will to be done in our lives, such as really cleaning up the inside that we can, that people can't see. All right, well, that's enough. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because that you have given us this, uh, this model prayer, and we do ask that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and we thank you for 
answered prayer today, not in the way that we've been asking for a long time, but Lord, you answered prayer, and we just praise you. We don't know the details. We don't know why, but we know that you have answered, and we give you praise. And enable us, Lord, to do better about submitting our, our wills to your will. Bless our guests and our phone operators and those that are struggling tonight, Lord, maybe some are just really discouraged. Let them get, renew their hope tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, tonight we have uh, with us uh, Called Out Ministries, and they're from Thornton, Kentucky. They do have CDs, and the number is 606-634-7406. And uh, so I believe this is uh, what I'm, am I saying it right? I'm reading it, so somebody's going to be in trouble if we're not. So. <laughs> but anyway, let's go let's listen to them sing. Well, say praise the Lord. It's so good to be back. And, you know, we, uh, we were scheduled back in May. Of course, the pandemic uh, shut everything down and... Uh, but we're so glad that uh, we're able now, and even though we're not fully out of the woods yet, but we're able to make it back down and to be able to come and to share with you guys tonight, amen. Uh, again, from our heart, these songs that we're going to sing tonight are not just songs to fill up space, but they're songs that we've uh, selected, amen, tonight that we're hoping will just touch your heart, amen, that would strengthen you and encourage you tonight, and uh, we just ask you, would you pray for us as we do minister in song tonight, because we want to, we want to be able to, to uh, just to touch hearts of people, amen, that's uh, all around the world, as we saw back there in the kitchen while ago, man, this, this is going all over the world, not just in the United States, uh, and that excites me to know tonight, amen, that we are in a place where we can just speak through a microphone, amen, and, and be able to speak to somebody that we may never lay our eyes on you, may never get a chance to meet you, but one day you're going to meet the one named Jesus, amen, the Savior, amen, of this old world, and we just want to lead you to him tonight, so if you're watching and tonight, and uh, or if you know somebody tonight that's not saved, that don't know the Lord, look around, folks, today, look around, and I don't want to get all wrapped up in this again, because I'm sure everybody's heard quite a bit about this pandemic, but uh, I see more of the signs of time than I've ever seen. I see the Word of God fulfilling, amen, before our very eyes, and uh, this is or not to be no shock to us that believe, amen, because we know the Bible said in the last days that perilous times would come, amen, and we're heading in that direction. I don't think we're fully there yet, but we're on our way there, and uh, so now if you don't know the Lord, our prayer is tonight, we'll say something, sing something tonight that would just touch your heart, amen, and tonight you would call in up here on these prayer lines tonight, amen, and surrender your heart to the Lord, amen, and that would make the trip down here and all that we're going to do tonight worth every second, amen, to know that somebody fell out to sin and surrendered their heart to God, amen. We are Trinity Full Gospel Church called out ministries from up in Thornton, as Sister Margaret said, I pastor Trinity Full Gospel Church, and then we, we travel outside the church as called out ministry, amen, as God has called us also out behind the four walls, amen, to carry this uh, gospel again back into a lost and dying world. So uh, we thank God for the opportunity to be here now. And we just want to sing tonight, pray for us, get in, worship with us tonight, amen, and let's just let God have his way. Again, we come to lift him up, Sister Margaret, he said we lift him up. He draw all men unto him. I come here tonight to lift him up. Pray for us as we sing tonight. And my wife will start us off tonight uh, with a song that I love. It says, what a beautiful name it is. Amen.
says no other name in heaven in which a man can be saved amen tonight but at that name of Jesus amen and Sister Margaret was talking about that word submitting one ago. You know, Bible yes. teaches us, amen, in James, to submit ourselves therefore unto the Lord and resist the devil and he'll flee from us, amen. And I agree uh, tonight, says if we would just submit more. Second Chronicles uh, uh, 2 and 7 says that, that, you know, if us that are called, he said, my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways. Amen. Tonight, he's talking about us. It's got to start with us tonight. If you desire something, let it start with you tonight. Let it start, number one, by making Jesus Lord of your life. Amen. And then from there, let God do a work in you that would just capture, amen, others as they look and see Christ, the hope of glory in you and I tonight. Amen. God, it's so good to be here. I feel the Lord. Amen. And, and thank God, amen, for this ministry and what it does tonight. And we have a sm small opportunity, amen, to be a part of this. Now, I want to get Carla sings a, a beautiful song now. It says, I need a drink. Amen. Listen to the words of this song because it talks about a lot of what's going on in our world today and what we need to fix this problem. Amen. Listen to this. I need a drink. Seventeen-year-old boy on the east side of town Gets caught up in a bad drug deal when it goes down And another 
Ten-year-old baby girl's missing tonight While her heartbroken mom and dad plead for that little girl's life When I get depressed from all the bad news on TV well, I need a drink Lord, I need a drink from the river of life My soul has a thirst and my hope has run dry I need an escape only you can provide While this world slowly sinks a dream. I tried to quit reaching for crutches and do this alone. Come on. Yeah. Be strong and handle the stress of this world on my own. But Lord, you're a habit I just can't seem to give up I'm addicted to your love And how you fill my empty cup I find myself reaching for you, Lord When I am weak And I need a drink Lord, I need a drink from the river of life. My soul has a thirst and my hope has run dry. I need an escape only you can provide while this world slowly sinks. Lord, I need a drink from the river of life. My soul has a thirst and my hope has run dry. I need an Escape only you can provide while this world slowly sinks. I need a drink. I need a drink. I need a drink. Lord, I need a drink. Amen. 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 One thing tonight that's going to help. Amen, our, our nation, amen, I know, amen, tonight that, that there's more besides me than I hear that believe that the word of God is forever true. It's the infallible, unerred word of God, and I believe with all my heart tonight, Sister Margaret, but one thing that's going to heal our land, amen, and that's us turning our hearts and our minds back to Jesus, amen, and fully trusting in him. Sister Missy sings a real pretty song, amen, that I really love. Listen to the story in this song, amen, it talks about being carried to the table. I was shattered by the fall, broken and forgotten, feeling lost and all alone, summoned by the king into the master's court, lifted by the Savior and cradled in his arms, I was carried to the table. Where I don't be Table. The table of the Lord. 
many thoughts of fear. I'm wondering why he called my name. Am I good enough to share his cup? This world has left me lame. That's right. But even in my weakness, the Savior called my name. And in his holy presence, I'm healed and unashamed. As I'm carried to the table. Seated where I don't belong. The table of the Lord, carried to the table, the table of the Lord. Amen. Carried to the table. Amen. My brother Dino here. Going to sing us one now, amen. Talks about three rugged crosses on one lonely hill. Listen to this song tonight. Another beautiful, beautiful song that I love. I tell you today, it's, it's the power, I believe, with all my heart tonight of the Lord, amen, that's held us together to where we are today, Sister Mark. I don't know where I would be this evening if I didn't trust him and lean on him, amen. You know, the writer teaches us in Proverbs chapter 3, amen, to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts, 
and lean not to our own understanding. I can't make sense of everything that's going on in our world today and don't understand why it has to be the way it is. But I know there's an adversary. Amen. I know the Bible says he's going to and fro and seeking whom he may devour. But I don't fully understand why everything's happening the way it is. But I know this much. We serve an on-time God, a God that is able, amen, to do abundantly above uh, anything that we could ever think or imagine, the word God says. Amen. Tonight, I, I trust him. I look to him for my understanding tonight, and he comforts me in this time, amen, that, that we're in. And we need it tonight. I don't know about you. I need that comfort of the Lord, amen, to help me to be able to minister and do the things we do and work around all the things that we have to work around now, Sister Margaret, amen, to wearing the mask and being limited to places we can go and, and things and uh, trying to obey the laws of the land and follow the guidelines. We want, we want to make sure we do that. But at the same time, I still have an obligation. I, I got a duty tonight to lift up the name of Christ, and I'm glad tonight we have this platform right here where we are tonight, amen, that we don't have to be right in a church building with you, but I can speak through this thing tonight, going through this TV station, this radio station. Tonight, I can still share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you tonight. Amen. So God has gave us other platforms tonight, church, to work on. Amen. Don't feel like because you don't have a crowd of a thousand to step up to tonight that you can't minister and do something for God. You can still do a work. Facebook's a great tool, amen, that we can use for God. Amen. Uh, uh, there's a lot of other platforms tonight that you and I can use and still spread this good news of Jesus Christ. And there's still a lost and dying world. And even though we're in the middle of this thing, there's still people now that need the Lord and we, our work must go on so I thank God for this platform tonight amen I'm going to try to sing this old song that says I've never been this homesick before see the bright light shine oh it's just about whole time well I can see my father standing at the door this old world Don't. 
sick tonight, ready to go on and be with the Lord. Amen. I like what Paul said. Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. I look forward to that to one day. The Bible teaches us that we have hope in this world only. We have all men most miserable tonight. Amen. But my hope is not in this world only. Amen. I'm hoping that one day soon, amen, Jesus, amen, is going to step out on the clouds of glory according to Paul's teachings in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. He's going to call a church up to meet him in the clouds, amen, of glory. And forever the Bible says, shall we be with the Lord. I look forward to that day. We're thankful tonight, amen, to have a, a, a Evangelist couple with us tonight, amen, and uh, you're going to probably hear from them in just a little bit, amen, but uh, Brother Larry and and, and, and uh, his wife has come all this way, they came last time, amen, uh, back at Christmas, I think, uh, to help us here and support us, amen, and we appreciate them tonight, Sister uh, Robin is, is also, uh, I mean, just a far ball for God, and, and this, these folk are just good folk, and uh, they travel about an hour out here tonight just to be with us, and I appreciate that tonight, you guys having you with us, and Sister Bertha, one of our regulars from the church, amen. My mom not able to be with us tonight. This is the first time she's missed Sister Margaret, but her health is, is not, you know, and of course she ain't getting no younger either, but she is at home and doing well. We're just careful about getting her out too many places during this time, and I knew the less we brought here tonight would make it easier us but uh i'm hoping that soon that she'll get a comeback she loves coming down here and seeing you guys and being part of this ministry so uh we're so thankful not to have these folk that come so far and support us amen i want to get brother corliss if he would just to testify say something for the lord bro uh, first of all i want to thank god for saving me uh putting me on the right path especially when i was going down the wrong one uh thankful to be back here again and uh, just you know give god all the glory for everything that's good in our lives because you know, it, without him, we have nothing. That's right. So I'm so thankful for this church and, uh, of course, WLJC for letting us to come and be on the program. Amen tonight. Come on, Missy. Say something for the Lord. Well, I just want to thank the Lord for being here tonight. And I want you all to remember my mom. She would have been here tonight, yes, but she has to have cataract surgery Monday, so she's under quarantine. So, so you all just remember her. I just want to thank the Lord for saving me and my husband and yes. thank him for a Christian family. Amen. I've got two kids that need to be saved, but I know the Lord's going to save them. Maybe not. Now, but maybe later. I know it's going to happen. Amen. Amen. Come on, Dino. I thank the Lord for saving me and um, thank him for a safe trip down here. And, um, and I, just, I just agree with my wife here that, that God's going to save our kids. Amen. 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 I believe that tonight. Wife, say something for the Lord, will you? I just Amen. thank God for being so good to me. I don't have enough time to tell you everything he's done for me, but I just thank God he's been so good to me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Probably shouldn't call her wife on TV. I, 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 I got a habit at home. That's what I call her. <laughs> her name is Jennifer tonight. Amen. I pre she her. She leads us and does most of the the leading parts for us this now. And I'm, I'm just glad these folk let me hang out with them and sing with them. Uh, I enjoy being their pastor. Amen. And watch them grow in the Lord. And uh, thank God, amen, just for the for the talent that he's given in this, this this little group of people right here. He's really blessed us. Amen. All right. They're giving me the one more sound. So we're going to do one more here and get ready to turn it back to Sister Margaret tonight. Amen. But I want to get Carlos, if he would, amen, to sing uh, this song. And we call it what? I didn't seek. <laughs> Amen. This song simply says, ready or not. Amen. Ready or not, church. The world says he's not coming. They live like there's no wind. But it don't matter what this world says. Ready or not. He's coming again. Will the bridegroom find you waiting? We are laughing, shining for him. When that call comes, go out to meet him. Ready or not, he's coming again. Ready or not, the Lord is coming. Ready or not, he's coming again. Trimmed and burning, ready or not, he's coming again. Two in the bed, one will be taken. 
two in the field, and one will ascend. The sun will be dark, stars will be falling, already or not, he's coming again. They're on a run to the hills and mountains, cry oh, yes. for the rocks to follow me, but they can't hide from his great judgment. Ready or not, he's coming again. Ready or not, the Lord is coming. Ready or not, he's coming again. Will your lamp be trimmed and burning? Ready or not, he's coming again. Ready or not, the Lord is coming. Ready or not. He's coming again, will your lamp be trimmed and burning, ready or not, he's coming again, ready or not, he's coming again. Well, that song is so true, ready or not, he's coming back, and we want to be ready, don't we? All right, we appreciate uh, Called Out uh, Ministries and their, all their songs. Now, if, uh, if uh, some of the guests that we've invited to come up and be with us, we'll talk about their churches and so forth, let you find out more about them to where they can, uh, you can go visit them, and, and if you're in that area to where you can... Uh, have a home church if that's what you're needing. And uh, their phone number is 606-634-7406. And uh, so they're, uh, they're going to uh, share with us. Uh, after we share these requests here, uh, Charlotte from Crab Orchard enjoyed the singing tonight and, and had other nice compliments. Thank you. And... Uh, Thelma from Madison for her children and grandchildren, great-grands, Claudetta uh, for her family, two unspoken requests, Kathleen from Fayette County for her niece that has cancer and her brother needs prayer, Lloyd from Somerset has cancer, and uh, Bernie from uh, Wayne County for his family, uh, Tammy from Knox for her family, Alfie from Morgan County and uh, another person from Morgan County. All right, we, uh, we want to let these pastors introduce themselves and tell about where their churches are and uh, what part of the world that they're helping to uh, do what Jesus said, to spread the gospel to every creature. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Well, I'll start up now. And again, uh, uh, I pastor Trinity Full Gospel Church. Uh, we're lo located at 101 Chip Drive up in Thornton, Kentucky, about two hours from here. And uh, we we just uh, we pastor because we know uh, the Bible teaches us if we're going to preach, we first meet, must be out to teach. And, and and I love teaching and preaching, so uh, I felt that call years ago to pastor. And and Sister Margaret, I just love. Uh, seeing people grow in the grace and knowledge mm -hmm. of, of Jesus Christ. So more than just seeing them get saved. And I thank God for evangelists. we got some good evangelists. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet here in just a moment. I thank God for folk mm -hmm. like that. But, uh, you know, after they get saved, then there's a, there's a, a growth period that needs yes. to, to take place. You know, and we quote a scripture all the time from Proverbs 22 and 6. that says, train up a child when he's young in the way he should go when he's old and not depart from him. And, and we believe that physically as, as we raise our children up in the Lord. But I also believe that applies to babes in Christ, amen, mm -hmm. the, the new converts, amen, that we are to raise them and to help them, amen, to um, grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior tonight. But uh, Larry and Robin Short here, I'm going to let them introduce their, their church and their pastor and things, but I appreciate these folk that travel an hour tonight just to be down here and be mm. part of this. And, Makes and, you and think one, they kind of like you, don't Yes, ma'am, it does. <laughs> uh, and I appreciate that. It means a lot to me, and they're they, they do such a great work for God, and I want to see them, uh, too, be part of this WLJC team, amen, because it takes us all in that. Uh, but Larry, just, just be led, brother. Praise God. It's a privilege to be able to be here tonight. I thank God for this opportunity. My wife, Robin, and I go to church over at End Time Harvest Church, uh, Pastor Tracy Fannin, his wonderful wife, Libby Fannin. If you're ever over that way, we'd like to invite you to stop in and fellowship with us. 
wonderful anointed preaching and singing and just make yourself at home if you get a chance to come by. Uh, we thank God that he's doing a great work. Uh, it's not a time, people, to be discouraged tonight. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you it's a time to look up for our redemption does draw nigh. God's not surprised by everything that's going on. It did not no. take him by surprise whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He knew it was coming before it happened. And we were born for such a time as this. Amen. 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 So get ready and expect great things from the Lord tonight. Sister Robin, you got to say something. She said, Lord, I don't know what to say when I get up there. <laughs> well, I just thank God for being here. I thank God for the opportunity for being here. You know, it's not every day that you get to be out and, and you know, be a light for Jesus like this. We are called out to be for Him a light. You know, all our hope is in Jesus. The yes. world wants to get us down, but mm -hmm. our hope is in Jesus. Yes. You know, yes. this pandemic stuff, you know, it wants to make us depressed. It wants to put, put us down. Our hope is in Jesus, and we Amen. need to remain. All of our hope is in Jesus during yes, this time. Amen. And I thank God for, you know, ever since March up till this day, we have seen so many people that has been depressed or mm -hmm. has even separated even. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. we know who, who pulls us through in such a time as this. But you know, the Bible says for us to go out and compel them to come, compel our, you know, them to come in. You know, this is the days that we need to really be doing that. Amen. And are we doing that? That's the question. Are we doing that? Because I do believe time is running up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, that's true. Amen. That that's pretty true. good for a lady who didn't know what to say. Well, that, that's just almost Amen. like she knew exactly what to say, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. But we are so thankful, Sister Mark. Yeah. So thankful yeah. to be here tonight. Uh, I just want to say this tonight. We know the Word of God uh, teaches us that He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquity. And chastisement of our peace is upon Him. And with His stripes, mm -hmm. we are healed. So tonight, I want you to claim that, receive that. Tonight, we're healed in the name of Jesus. And I'm not just talking about this pandemic. I'm talking about cancer. I'm talking about heart disease, anything else. These requests that she's reading off tonight. Whatever it is that, that, that you, you, you've got going on, amen, I want you to know tonight, I know Amen. And I know you know him tonight if you've accepted him. Mm -hmm. Jesus tonight is able to heal, Sister Maureen. Mm -hmm. And I stand yes. in that healing tonight. Yes. God is good. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And there's, uh, there is so many ways that we need healing. Yes. You know, yeah. uh, it's not all physical. Yes, there's emotional healing that needs to take place. People have yes. been hurt and, and mistreated. And, and uh, thank you. <coughs> uh, a lot of things have happened. They need healing for that so that then they can uh, have their mind clear to be able to serve the Lord. Yes. You know, so many times when people have, especially women, when they have been uh, mistreated, uh, abused and so forth, then it's really hard for them to trust a heavenly father when a man has mistreated them and, and hurt them. Yes. And so uh, there's a lot of healing that we need. But And, you know, I'm so glad the Lord knows all about us. We don't have to tell him every little uh, toe ache that we have. He already knows about our toes. Amen. And, Amen. Uh, but it's, and you know, it might not be important to anybody else, but it is to us. If it's our toe hurting, then we, uh, that's what we, uh, we're interested in. Uh, now, let's see, where did you say the church was that you all attend? It's Moorhead, Kentucky. Oh, Moorhead. Yes. Okay. End time okay. harvest. All right. Okay. Uh, you want to tell the time of the services? Uh, both of you pastors should or tell about. Uh, end time harvest has service uh, Sunday morning at 1030. And the midweek service is Wednesday night at 7. Amen. Same way with us. Uh, we have Sunday school at 1045, morning worship at noon. And uh, Wednesday night is our family training hour, amen, at 7 o'clock. And uh, we teach or whatever God leads us to do on on Wednesday nights, and so, Amen. We'd love love to see you. Stop in. We'll love you so many ways. You're bound to like one of them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Okay. God is good. All right. Well, we have some more uh, calls in. Miss Kevin o from Richmond. She has stage three uh, kidney cancer. Uh, from Lincoln County, someone has called and want to know what happened to the family circle from Slimp, Kentucky. Well. Uh, uh, Granny from the group, she of course went on to be with the Lord and uh, the girls have had a lot of sickness but uh, we hope to get them back down here before long, the family circle. Patricia from Floyd County, 
uh, for Phyllis has lupus and her husband needs prayer badly. Tammy from Knox County, uh, stomach acting up. Uh, Lester has called for his wife. A fern from uh, Perry County, from uh, Laurel County. Uh, Thelma from Madison County. Here is uh, Mary from Mount Sterling's had a heart attack. Uh, or, I mean, the son has had the heart attack. And uh, uh, that's, she wants prayer for him. Rock Castle, um, several there. Uh, ladies called for Paul and others. Song request uh, when I lay my Isaac down. Uh, Lois from Pike County. This says pray for your sisters and pray for uh, someone's brother. Evelyn from Powell. Uh, she, uh, uh, she wants prayer in different ways. Tammy from uh, Barberville said we're having an awesome service and she uh, she's praying for each one of us and Amen. praying for the station Amen. that's good that's we're good. Yes, we're thanks. glad you're being being blessed yes. all right becky from montgomery county uh for a son that needs salvation and uh, for another one from somerset for uh himself lowell and uh before we get to, to out of time i'm going to pass these over and ask uh, these two Yes. pastors to uh, anoint these and uh, yes. and uh, lead us in prayer whatever y'all want to say before before you pray that'll Amen. be fine yes. let me say this before we pray I was going to mention want to go in there. we're leaving out at about seven in the morning we're going to make a trip to Indianapolis my father-in-law uh, is 85 year old and his health has has declined they got him in the hospital up there getting ready to admit him into a rehab up there so we're going to try to get up and see him before he goes into that nursing facility because they won't let us in there mm -hmm. and sister margaret and mm -hmm. then uh but uh, needs needs a touch from god amen yes. and uh so we just ask anybody who knows the prayer prayer to remember uh his name is glenn author amen to lift him up amen also when you pray and we're going to pray over these tonight brother larry come in agreement because i believe yeah. again i said it while ago and i'm going to say it again god is our healer tonight amen, yes, amen. Yes. god yes. is still on the throne he's still in control and he's still able to touch every yes. name everybody that's called into this place yes. tonight yes. let us pray yes. heavenly father yes lord. god truly father, tonight lord name god you see every name lord name that's been called in here god that's written every down need. father yeah. on these papers tonight oh, god. god and god i know tonight lord god that you are our healer father and you're more than able tonight yes, god to touch each person lord man Thank woman you. child whatever the situation may be god god reach into every home father god and do a work right now we know god tonight god that you're still on the throne you're still in control and god tonight again we trust you lord and we believe god even as we speak right now heavenly father that you're reaching down touch in each name, Lord, that's called in here tonight. Yes. Father, maybe that one, God, that's still, Lord, is watching this. Uh, Lord, thinking about surrendering their heart to you. God, I pray, let them go ahead. God, and make that call. Say, hey, I just got saved. And we're believing right now, Father God, that you're touching somebody. Somebody right now, God, is wanting to make that decision for you, Father. And I pray right now, God, bind anything that yes. would hinder that. You, and we ask again, touch these. In Jesus' name. Yes. 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 Glory to Amen. God. Glory All to right. God. Hallelujah. All right. Thank uh, you, Lord. Once again, uh, tell us about where your church is and the location. So okay. they we're, can... Again, we're, uh, we're up in Thornton, Kentucky. If you're familiar with Whitesburg, uh, Neon, Jenkins up in that area, we are, we are located in between uh, uh, Neon and Whitesburg there on the old road, uh, uh, Highway 1862, if you come up. From, from Hazard to Jackson Way on 15. Uh, uh, and then uh, get up there, you'll see either direction you're coming from, you'll see Highway 1862 that jumps off there at Thornton. And uh, follow 1862, it'll bring you straight right past the church parking lot. You can't miss it. And again, uh, we, we reach out in that area, but we feel, uh, Sister Margaret, that, and that's why we go by Called Out Ministries and we work out of our church because we truly believe that God has also called us outside the four walls yes, of the church yes, to carry this yes. gospel again into the highways and the hedges, amen. And he used that word compel, mm -hmm. amen. If you look that up in, in, in the dictionary, it means to force, amen. Mm -hmm. But to compel them to come in, amen, because uh, uh, Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter three, you must be born 
again. So mm -hmm. we just don't want to uh, pastor and to be able to see people grow there in the church, but we also want to win the lost. God has called us, amen, to the lost sheep. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Very good. We have another minute or two. All right. We, what you have? Yes. We thank God to, again for the privilege of being here. And uh, if you're over in the Moorhead area, uh, the church is located off of Route 519, just a minute off the main route there coming into Moorhead called Dry Creek. The church is End Time Harvest. The pastors are Tracy Fannin and Libby Fannin. And we've been experiencing a very, very powerful move of God in the, in the house. And, and God is doing great things in our midst. And we're just looking forward to being part of what he's doing. Amen. And Sister Margaret, I'll let, I'll let the wife slide this time. But uh, uh, next time I'll make her come up here and work with you. Okay. But, uh, Appreciate all these good folk that, that, that travel with me tonight. I tell you, okay. they support the ministry, and uh, I give God all the praise, but I couldn't yes. do it if it wasn't for those that give yeah, in sure. the ministry tonight. So thank all God right. for that. We've got another minute here, and it's her name's on it. Yes. Come on, um, just thank God for being here today. Thank God for all the opportunities and all the open doors that he's opened and all the doors that he has shut as well. Mm -hmm. Thank God for you, Sister Margaret, mm -hmm. and the work that you do for God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right. Uh, okay, and I think we've got another minute left. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, um, any uh, any special church announcement or anything coming up that you want to mention at either of the churches? And we don't have Just, a whole lot going on now, but this this pandemic is still got everybody afraid to do things. Mm -hmm. But we are. We are wanting to, uh, I got another pastor has a big tent, a big 50 by 60, it's a big mm. tent. And uh, we're wanting to set this thing up in different areas soon, as mm. soon as we are allowed to, and, and start holding some tent revivals mm -hmm. uh, and things. So uh, be praying about that with us, amen. All right, all right, that sounds good. All right, if you'd like to get in touch with uh, the group tonight, it's 606-634-7406. Uh, called Out Ministries. They and, and they do have CDs. Uh, I guess we did not mention that, but they do. Yes. So call them and, and uh, get, get better acquainted with them. And, you know, we need to all work together. That's right. That's right. Uh, the more prayers that goes together, the stronger yeah. and the more that we see things happen. And so there's great power in united prayer. So we we say that all the time, but we believe it more all the time. We're out of time, so from all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest program. We trust you are blessed every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution of support. Will you become a financial partner of Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? We invite you to send your pledges of support to WLJC, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.wljc.com. May God bless you.